Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Today, we're going to be playing uh, some Final Fantasy... What's wrong with me today? We might as well be a Final Fantasy game. Shit. Nah. We're playing some Soul Calibur VI. Uh, this is going to be fun, interesting. We're going to continue on with the uh, Libra of Soul uh, campaign, which it uses a custom character. But before I do that, if you guys want to join in the voice chat, feel free to do so. It is for subscribers only, however, so if you're a subscriber and want to join in the voice chat, feel free to do so. Uh, the link to, to join in the Discord is down below in the description, or if you press exclamation point social in the chat, it'll give you a link to not only that, but to my uh, Twitters, my not safe work at and uh, safe work Twitters. Including my YouTube channel, I also have a new YouTube channel where uh, I'm where I do unboxing videos and game reviews, which is not on the link right now. But if you want that, just let me know in the chat, and I'll just send it out. Uh, just look up Lady Foxheart on on uh, on uh, YouTube, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to easily find it. Also, if you uh, don't have the funds to subscribe, check out Amazon Prime. With Amazon Prime, you get uh, Prime Gaming, and with Prime Gaming, it's basically Twitch Prime, so one free sub, you can go ahead and use that per month, and use that on me here. So let's go ahead and get things started, let's hope things are working properly, even though it says I'm dropping frames, but it doesn't look like it. I'm going to join in the voice chat right now, so people can stop yelling at me. All right, and everything seems to be going good. I am playing this on uh, my PC, and I'm playing this off of a PS4 controller, so there'll be points if you hear like, that noise. More than likely, my controller got disconnected because apparently that's either a faulty wire or a faulty uh, port. I'm leaning towards the wire. Or I could be wrong, it could be the port. God damn it. Well, maybe the wire itself, because it does the same thing on my Xbox One controller. And I can't do it via Bluetooth for some reason, because for some reason it doesn't want to read via Bluetooth. Like, it'll connect, but it won't uh, pick up. Like, play on game. Yep, that's me. That's me in the corner. Greetings and farewell. Oh, I have to fight three enemies. I'm curious, because I, I can change weapons that I want. I'm going to try the Witcher's uh, sword and shield. Uh, sword and silver sword. Both greetings and farewells were to be found in Dhaka, where Maxi's employer awaited us. Starto! Forgive me, but this is where I must take my leave. Where are you off in such a rush? I have heard rumors of strange happenings in my hometown of Yingguang. My brother is still there, and I worry for his safety. That's too bad, but I get it. It's been short, but a whole lot of fun. Take care. A safe journey to you, too. Farewell. With a bright smile and a small bow, Heron left. Sally, I have to report to my employer. You go and wait by my ship. Head to the docks. You can't miss it. I'll give you your cut of the reward there. See ya. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? Tell me came here to cross the maxi. <laughs> Tell him Maxi said uh, to wait for him here. Hmm, what's going on? <laughs> oh, hey, Kyom. This widow just turned up. She says she got business with Maxi. That's her. I guess that means Maxi trusts her. Looks that way. If the captain likes you, you must be pretty tough. So how about you show us how tough? 
do you have anchor arms? Or are you gonna, are you gonna tell me how to get into a salty spittoon? I, by the way, I never played The Witcher, like, fully. Like, I've only played, like, Witcher 1, and that was, like, not too far, because I did not like the, uh, the way how, uh, the fighting mechanics were. Do I replace my health? Okay. Okay, that, that was not working right. There we go. The power of the kick. Oh boy, story mode. That's a fine show, matey. Hey, I'm back. Where's the warm welcome for your captain? Welcome back, brother. <laughs> that is all worried, so what's the story about this landlubber? This crew is my savior. We gotta thank Sally Foxart here for making sure our employer is happy. What did I say about looking for you before you leave, Maxie? Remember what happened last time? Oh, quit your belly aching. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Harsh words aside, Kyom really didn't seem angry. He must have been uh, used to Maxie's flights well fancy by now. So, you know, my crew's my family, so they look rough, but they're a good bunch. You said you were looking for a thing. Uh, uh Astral Fisher, right? As a matter of my word, I'll help you. There you go again, leave before you go looking. Bah! So, what's this astral fissure business anyway? I'll tell you once I'll tell you once everyone's here. I need the whole crew on board with this. Here's your share of the bounty, by the way. <laughs> Maxie handed me a bag of coins. It's gonna take a while to get ready, so do what you gotta do in that time. This town's got a lot of shops and great places to eat. Why not check them out? Cool. And my phone is like all boop. I'm trying to figure out who to message me. She looks like a bad person. You can now access shops in Dhaka where you can buy goods and, and exchange currency. Okay, so there's a shop here. Okay, so soul points are just for the main game, while the gold is just for the for this mode in general. Mitsuruki. Take it. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess it didn't disappear. <laughs> I 
green tea. Ring out is disabled. Okay. The Merchant Guild and Doctor is trying to repair the water gate, but progress is constantly being interrupted by janitors. They need a guard who was I not in T request. Excuse me. The Bengali city of Dhaka lies on the edge of the wide tract of wetlands. While the port is lively with trade ships traveling the neighboring tributary of the Great Gages River developed of a land route lags behind. The land road is merely a wooden path that stretches across the marshy expanse that surrounds the city, points where it must uh, cross a conflux of the many twisting streams and canals are hard to reach and poorly maintained with which limits traffic. First time on the wooden road? Be sure to watch your footing. My client is a prominent merchant in Dhaka. The merchant guild he runs has hired to guard uh, over repair work on the road. The path ended abruptly at a large sandbar. It looked as though much of the bridge that should have been there had been washed down uh, downstream. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm getting any messages. Alright. You think the damage would be this bad? Well, get to work, everyone. Hi. Right. Keep a share out. Keep a sharp eye out for trouble. Everybody's scared the banners are said to roam this area. Flooding caused by a broken water gate last month caused the trade to grind to a halt. However, brigade, brigade, brigades robbed. Brigands, brigade, brigands robbed and drove away the workers. Be, uh, to repair the problem, so little progress has been made. How does it look? Well, parts of the entire road are swept away, so we'll need to bring in lumber, or it'll be ten days at the earliest. I see. I was afraid that would be the case. Well, I have business in the city to attend to. Continue work. Trouble came that night, not long after the merchant left. Here, in search of more easy pickings. Looks like the brigades had been impeding their re repair work had shown up. I stood against them. It was my job, after all. You're in our way. <laughs> Only reversal edges? What? Oh, that was fucking cool. I have no idea how the hell I did that. Okay, so I, it has to do something with the triangle. Going, but you're going forward. Okay, so if I press forward and press triangle like twice, it does that. Fucking magic. Okay, I am kind of dropping frames, but I don't know how to fix it. Dude, that guy just has a giant piece of wood on his on his stick. Oh, that's right, there's no ring outs. Good. 
What the fuck? Oh, that is sick. You're a wiener. Ten days after I drove away the bat the brigands, the repairs were completed and the land road opened again. However, I had a feeling that the end of the story was yet to come. The town has leveled up. Towns can be leveled up by assisting others via missions that become available as you progress uh, through the story. As the town levels up, its shops and stock become better, uh, will stock better merchandise and its facilities will improve. So to make sure they take on missions and help others. Interesting. Yeah, but you lied to me. There's nothing better yet. Okay, it's just this stuff. Alright, I guess we'll continue the story then. Dhaka, a city of trade and commerce located a short distance upriver from the harbor. It wasn't that well known yet among travelers, but it was starting to carve a name for itself as a key point on the east-west trade routes. I wandered aimlessly through the crowded streets where the hustle and bustle seemed to never cease. I'll visit the market. As I explored the busy market, I picked out a woman's clear voice through the clamor. My spirited woman. Hey, you remember those rumors about the demons in the village near here? The ones that started about a year ago, right? They started to be so awful. That's something awful. I heard all of the uh, demons have been taken care of for good. Really? It's true. I bet we have the qualifiers to thank for that. Are you still obsessed with them? You need to get your priorities straight. Come on, slowpoke. Hey, wait up! As they disappeared from view, I tried to recall where I heard about the qualifiers before. Then it hit me. They're the ones I fought by the Astral Fissure. There you are! Been looking for you! Captain's got something you want to hear! I followed Maxi's crew member back to his ship. You heard of Yang Guang? It's a port in Ming. Recently, no one's been able to get in or out of the port there, I heard. The info came to from a reliable source. They say the place has been covered in a red mist and it might have been through something with the epidemic or something. Oh. Been a lot of trouble with crime there too. Huh? Heron said something strange was going down in Yangguang. Judging by what we found out, there's a good chance the natural fishers appeared there. Heron. He was probably heading straight for a mouse from uh, uh, Molestrum. And the thought showed me to the bone. We'll take it to Yangguang if you like, quicker than going by land. I I great <clears throat> I gratefully ac accepted Maxi's offer. Once preparations were complete, we were to meet at the ship. Oh, what the You can now explore different areas along the main route of your journey. Through exploration you can discover missions, gain levels, and collect weapons to make your character stronger. How to explore, choose the carriage explores the surrounding area from the area menu to explore and then move the cursor to select the area you want to explore. You may be attacked by enemies on your way along with the destination. You'll also not automatically heal while traveling, so efficient use of weapons and food is essential. If you are defeated, exploration will end, all expenses will be deducted, and you return to the area you started from. Ready to keep an eye on your health. Oh shit. Okay, so story missions are once in red, side missions are basically in green.
Maxie's task, a little job. I found Maxie in town talking to a man of rather small stature. A man, the man was, t was making exaggerated gestures and appeared to be asking Maxie for something. I waited for the two to end the conversation before approaching Maxie. Oh, hey, Sally. I asked him about the man who had just left. Maxie, with a somewhat troubled look on his face, began to explain. Ah, him. He had sort of a job for me. That old man actually had a pretty big deal, though you could never tell from the looks of him. He's always stuck his neck out for me, so I really want to help him out. It's just... Maxie appeared to be unsure whether he should accept the man's request, as he had matters of his own that required attention. Seeing this, I offered my assistance. Really? That'd be great! Actually, with your help, we should be able to finish the job in no time. Alright, let's go. Capture the Pepper Thieves. Alright. Thieves had been stealing from a black pepper farm when I accepted a quest to apprehend them. I waited frequently into the field for a few hours before I had several steps, uh, sets of footsteps approaching. As I stood up to challenge them, one suddenly attacked me from behind. I'm interested in this. Oh, that is a lot of damage. I delivered the thieves to the farm's owner. They were in fact laborers who had worked there. The owner was clearly pleased and gave me a generous amount of the expensive spice. <laughs> you know, I think we're just gonna change my race. Okay, so it's more feline. Gotta get those wide hips. Thick thighs save lives. Always have the big chest. Itty bitty waist. Nice some muscle. Let's get this. Wanna have some fun? Let's care to dance with me. Care to dance with me. Tail, I wanted to be a big fat fluffy tail.
No. Heck, man, just like no normal belt. <laughs> Hey Sim, how you doing? I haven't seen you in quite a little while. I'm just playing some Soul Calibur uh, 6. And with Soul Calibur 6, I am just doing like it's uh, story mode. Can I need a hug? Why you need a hug, man? Is everything alright? Because your brain's a butt. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm really sorry you have, you have to deal with the... Uh... You mentioned you ha you're, you're the one that had mentioned about having anxiety, right? Six, two, nine. Yeah, like, I'm sorry you have to deal with that bullcrap. Yeah, alright. And I wish I could help you out, man, but what helped me out is just medication. May not be recommended at points, but I mean, straight up, like, it was better than actually just suffering for me. But I'm just lucky enough that it didn't, like, affect me as bad as, like, other people would. Yeah. Like, I, I, all I can say, really, man, is good luck, man. Godspeed. Hopefully, my stream can uh, help, can help uh, keep your mind off things. Yeah, Cause right over here, I'm just gonna be dicking around playing Soul Calibur.
There you go, that looks a bit better. Don't like that I can't like customize the ears. Okay, yeah, that's just training bullshit. Man, six games in, they still don't have an option for facial hair. Oh, uh, I, th I thought they did. But like for the male characters, I guess not. I was strolling along the harbor gazing out at the peaceful sea when I was crawling coming from one of the piers. Old man, give me the map already. You should not be so eager for death. Shut up already unless you want me to take that map off your corpse. I searched for the source of shouting and saw a large burly man threatening an elderly gentleman. It seemed that the burly man had noticed me and he turned to glare, turned to glare in my direction. Who are you? You're looking for some treasure too, huh? Please, young one, move along. You shouldn't get involved with this man or me. The elderly gentleman seemed surprisingly calm, but I couldn't let this ruffian threat defense his old man. I raided my weapon. Alright, time to be up a guy. Oh god, he's kicking my ass. I won! It's part of the face option, so I can't pick what facial hair or without affecting my face. Ah, I see. Yeah, I'm playing this on, uh, Steam. I would. Damn you. I'll remember this, you hear me? You'll get what's coming to you. The man fled into town, cursing me as he went. Thank you, young one. I tend to get harassed by scoundrels like him quite often because of, well, you aren't interested in that. Normally I let them scream and shout and turn the tables on them when they grow violent. I asked old man why people were after him. A long time ago, my friends and I braved an ancient ruin in search of fabulous treasures. The price I paid for my foolish courage was my leg and the lives of all my friends. 
That curse of that horrible place took them all. Even though I escaped my life, the curse still hounds me. Often, greedy fools come to me and demand a map in hopes that they can claim the ruins of riches. The pain grimace on the man's face spoke of horrors he had seen. I know better than anyone the terrible fate that awaits all who go to the cursed place. I would not wish it upon anyone, even men like that one you just chased off. However, the old man studied me thoroughly, thoughtfully. Exhaustion and pain were etched into the lines of his face, but a fierce resolve burned in the depths of his eyes. It is time. He reached into his coat, withdrew an old, ragged parchment. He held it out, offering it to me. Take it. We've only just met, but my adventurous instincts is telling me that you are the one destined to have it. Of course, I can't guarantee you'll survive, or even that the tales of treasure are true. However, I'm tired. So, very, very tired. I want to see this in the hands of someone strong enough to bear it and forget everything that's happened. With that, the old man turned and slowly staggered off towards the end of the pier. A cursed ruin and a hidden treasure? It all sounded so impossible. Still, something told me that I must pursue this mystery, whatever it led me. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to need to go ahead and take the explorer area. Oh, so it cost me money! Arrived at destination. Ah, oh, that's Mr. Bony Man. I found the hidden ruins in the forest, and I was about to discover the truth behind the curse that I terrified the elderly man so. Ago. The map the old man had trusted me pointed into a forest steep inside of which were the cursed ruins where a treasure hid. By the time I had arrived at the forest's edge, though the day had already grown dark. As soon as I entered the forest, I felt like I was being watched. <sighs> that feeling only grew as I followed the map towards the ruins. Suddenly, my watchers revealed themselves. I held up my lantern and countless skeletons came into view, shuffling their way towards me through the trees. Some of them look ancient, while others seem quite fresh. I sensed a familiar evil emanating from assembling corpses, this was the curse that the old man had mentioned. With every moment that passed, more skeletons gathered around me, I needed to destroy them before I was completely surrounded. Ow. Naughty. 
Okay, I don't like Raphael that much. The cheese, though. He didn't do anything to counter it, so... Fuck it. <laughs> How long I fought, I couldn't say. When the last skeleton fell, the sky was already glowing with the light of the dawn. I blinked, realizing the ruins I saw were right before me. Exhausted, I dragged myself forward, following the flight of stairs downward to the earth. The stairs led down to a vast chamber. I cast my light around the room, revealing a terrifying mural color of in the entirety of one massive wall. The mural showed a figure standing proudly on top of a mountain of corpses holding a massive axe with a single eye embedded in it. Countless bizarre symbols were carved everywhere each of them emanating the same dark energy the skeletons above had. The altar loomed in the center of the chamber, surrounded by ancient vases. I tried lifting one and found it to be extremely heavy. I broke open the vase's seal to find it stuffed to the brim with jewels and gold. So many who had come seeking this vast fortune had paid for it with their lives. The old man had made it out alive, but he was forever changed. I began to feel the malevolent weight of this place presses upon me. Thinking of the army of the dead in this disturbing mural, I now know why the old man had said he just wanted to forget it all. Yeah, I'm rich! Your soul surges in your body. Okay, so what's better, the Swordbreaker or the Gladiatrix? Okay, Gladiatrix is. Oh god. <laughs> there had been regular thefts around the cinnamon farm and the manager asked me to stop them. I waited a hiding near I waited in hiding near a uh, storehouse to proceed to for process I can't speak. I waited in hiding near a storehouse for processed cinnamon. After a while, a group of people arrived. I moved to stop them from entering, and the band of ruffians fell upon me. Or ruffians. Yes. Did no chance.
Ah, uh, you ruined my streak. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I captured the thieves and took them to the manager. They were youths from a neighboring village. The manager was pleased with my service and provided me with a wealth of expensive spices. I got cinnamon. Oh, I don't need to go here anymore. A warrior stands in your way. No, he doesn't. Lizard man. Level 18. Jesus Christ. Oh no, I wanted to get food. Oh, okay, I won. <laughs> I was weird for nothing. Let's go. Along the way, I asked Maxi for details on the job. The suburbs of Dhaka had always had problems with the crime, but recently there had been a string of grisly murders. Uh, willing to let it go on any longer, the, the town guard had got together and tried to handle things, so apparently none of them had come back. The old man is tearing his hair out right now and worries that things will get worse now, even though me uh, even. Even though me and him know each other, I'm still kind of shocked he asked a pirate like me to take care of bandits. I guess we better go. Suddenly, a strange scream rang out, stopping us dead in our tracks. A figure jumped from among the trees. Pray must kill. <laughs> Look what we have here. Don't we? These aren't your run of the mill bandits. The people who appeared before us were clearly wrong. They had a strange presence about them, malevolent glowing red eyes and bestial snarls. So the bandits were actually malfacet, huh? That explains why the guards haven't come back. Better be careful, Sally. Hey, how come the lizard man had an axe and a shield, but I can't? Cause fuck you. I don't fucking know. He scream.
that field. Oh god, help me. If the cheese works, it works! <laughs> First time taking on so many Malfacet. You're a real lifesaver, Sally. I looked down with the men we had defeated. According to Maxi, Malfacet have started appearing all over the world about a year ago, wreaking havoc wherever they went. If what Salomel said before holds true, then it was possible I could have been among those Malfacet. Well, I guess we've just finished the job for now, but it'd be real bad if more Malfessas show up. Maybe we should get the old man know he ought to form a group of bodyguards, just in case. And you better make sure they're strong. Whoever he hired would indeed need to be strong if they hoped to take on any Malfessas. I know an agreement and left. Stop standing. This is gonna be fun. And after I'm done with today's stream, I gotta get to work on some drawings. a very fun game. Oh, what fun. 
Just kick him in the nards. Your soul surges in your body. Cats Balger? Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, take it. Right now, I need my cat burger here. All aboard! There you are, well, we're already here. Raise the anchor, we're leaving port. I thank Maxi again for all of his help. Don't worry about it, take a load of, enjoy the ride. Maxi, I gazed out the, I gazed out at the building, the Pacific o Ocean, and took a deep breath of fresh sea air, humming to himself. Maxi looked pleased to be on water again. Ah, nothing beats the wind of the waves. You know, I was born on the Ryukyu Islands, where you need, where you needed a boat to get anywhere. But the sea is always a joy, no matter where you sail. See, you get it. My father was a tradesman hired by the government to operate a merchant ship, so I grew up with a deck under my feet. Being a land doesn't feel right. Some of the fancy stuff I invented myself, but most of the moves are from the old Yuku style. My father taught me when I was a lad. A martial artist who booked passage on my father's ship once showed me a few things too. He used the same weapon as me, but he was way better. Made me realize my world was still so small. The winds have changed and the sky is looking nasty. The sea's gonna get rough. Yeah, those clouds mean trouble. We're gonna have to weather it. Get ready for a wild ride. Normally I play it safe, but we're short on time. In for a penny, in for a pound, I say. Alright. It's like a mixture of Duke Nukem and Ken. Street Fighter. I was gathering information by the docks and I noticed the sailor staring at the mouth of the harbor. A per perturbed look on his face. Hmm, that merchant ship's in a real trouble. I shifted my attention to the harbor where I saw a European merchant ship on a collision course. With a small gallery, I asked, with a small galley, I asked the sailor why the galley wasn't taking expensive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. The pilot on that merchant ship is probably in cahoots with the crew of the of the galley. Truth is, the galley is a pirate ship. Oh, would you look at that? They crashed. What a shame. Both the merchant ship and the galley 
despite uh, being heavily damaged by impact, managed to make it to the docks without sinking. A young European man stepped off the merchant ship and was quickly surrounded by a group of brawny men. That was disrespectful of you guys, though I thought we crashed into each other. So, we're both at fault, come to think of it. Where's my pilot? Oh, I get it. Now he's one of your buddies. We made sure our ships rammed into each other. What the hell did you say? How dare you accuse us of something like that? Oh my, it looks like I'm in a real pickle, doesn't it? Let's see. A young merchant surveyed his surroundings before fixing his gaze on me. Hey, you there! Would you want to give me a hand? The pirates turned their gangry faces in my direction. So you're on this guy's uh, so you're on this guy's side, huh? You're both dead meat. Alright. So I guess I'm fighting for this guy I don't even give a shit about. An average Tuesday. Oh, I'm fast. Woo! There you go. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Wow, that's sad. First death. I just didn't like the fact that I just basically slid off the ledge. Here we go, Duke Nukem. No, it's pronounced cum. Get it right. Oh my, you're quite strong, aren't you? Thanks for the help. Name's Thomas. I'm a merchant from the Netherlands who's going the world for hitherto unseen treasures. The Netherlands, a rising power whose ships can be seen all across the seven seas. As you can see, my prized vessel isn't fit to sail in its current state. Worse, I'm in no position to pay for the repairs. Would you be able to help me out? Of course, I'll reward you later and make an investment worthwhile, wouldn't you say? The young man had a cheerful haughtiness in him and was brewing with a strange yet enticing charm. Alright. Thank you kindly, friend. I'll head straight to the notary and get them to issue a promissory note right away. He didn't seem like an untrustworthy fellow, so I told him there'd be no need for a promissory note. After a belief-friendly conversation, we parted ways. I'm well known for making a man by word, so rest assured that you'll see a nice return in your investment. Hey, Polar, how you doing? Hope you enjoyed the stream, man. You're great? I'm glad to hear that, dude. What are we gonna do, brother? Ain't got no... Ain't got the materials to fix your ship. Brother, the merchants are being attacked from the other side of the hill. Gotta be bandits. What? <laughs> we gotta do something. Sally, help us out. You're out of luck, Kong Wong. This ain't a f it is this is as far as you go. Yes, you're in you're one of Lin Pei's stooges. You need a better disguise. Your weapon and stance betray you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're still going to die. Gormless brat! 
<laughs> you think you can still beat me? Hold it! Oh, <laughs> good timing. This fiend wants defenses old me dead. Please help. Leave it to me, old man. You stand back. <laughs> you have no idea who you face, stranger. Prepare to die. Sorry, my voice acting sucks. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. Oh, I broke his hat. And mask. And now he's shirtless and naked. He's naked and afraid. I won! You really got me out of the tight spot there. Such skill! Maxi, my friend, I owe you and your companion my life. Uh, do I know you? No, but I know you. I'm something of a dealer information. I introduce people to mercenaries and bodyguards, so I keep my ears open for tales of capable fighters. Rumors of you and your crew's exploits, Maxi, are ten a penny. Right. I think I'm gonna regret helping this guy. He's kinda creeping me out. Is that ship yours? Hmm. Yes. Ho oh, ho. I think for your help, allow me to lend you my services, free of charge. The calculating look in the merchant's eyes was a little disconcerting, but there was no reason to turn him down. <laughs> my ship ran, ran around in the storm, ran aground in the storm yesterday, so I'd appreciate a little help with the repairs. Yes, consider me at your service. However, yeah, yeah, people want you dead. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye out for you. In which case, please just grab me to a town near here. It's not far. <laughs> well, I gotta watch the ship and get started repairs. Hey, Sally, do me a favor and go with them. If any more bad guys show up, you know what to do. Keep going, and you should get to Yang Guang before long. I'm going to get to Yang Guang as quickly as possible and Maxi said the repairs of the ship would keep him uh, from moving for some time so I agreed to accompany Kong, Kong Wang Kong Wang mm, yes you look uh, you, uh, mm, mm, yes you look like the strong sort I'm grateful for your assistance okay watch yourself out there and next time we meet I swear I'll show you some fun sailing can be in the meantime stay savvy and say hello to Ho Heron for me. Let's go try a uh, proxy this time. Not much further. Yeah, my shop is just over there. By shop, I mean, well, it's more of a tavern than anything. As I mentioned, I'm what you call middleman. I connect people who want so something done with the people who can do it. You can say my merchandise is people. <laughs> it was safe to say I didn't trust him, but I bet he wanted uh, to appraise potential merchandise when he asked for a bodyguard. It may not be a palace, but I make yourself at home. Hey, old man! What do we have here? New blood? Indeed! And quite skilled. 
Yes, perhaps even more than you, Mitsurugi. Oh, is that so? Hello there, stranger. My name is Heshiro Mitsurugi, and I'm feeling bored. How about a friendly match? Cool. Mitsurugi is actually pretty fucking chill. There we go. I won! Did not. Great! I actually kind of want to play those games. And I hear there is like a remastered version of the game. But quote unquote, like what actually made the game playable. <laughs> not bad! We'll get along just fine! Mm, yes, you're quite skilled, aren't you? Mitsurugi here is my best warrior, and that's no lie. Ha ha ha! None of the fighters here are a match for me, so it was invigorating to spar with someone of your caliber for a change. Sally, here some. <laughs> Sally here has some business in Yang Guang. Yang Guang? What a coincidence! So do I! I've saved enough coin here to continue, so I was thinking of catching a boat here to dare to Japan. What good fortune! Let's go to Yang Guang together! Always better have some company on the road. Yes, it'd be a shame to lose you, Mitsurugi. I'm going to have to rethink my plans. Thanks for all your help, Sally. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yeah, tell him not to forget his promise to help Maxi. Of course, a merchant's word is his honor. Ho, ho, ho. <coughs> Actually, it hurts my throat doing that voice. Like Mitsurugi's voice. Across the sea to the east in an island named uh, in an island country named Japan, Mitsurugi is what they call a samurai from those parts. I left my homeland to search for a legendary sword, sword called Soul Edge. I am a warrior sworn to the sword. I want a Soul Edge to help prove that the blade can be stronger than any Tenagashima. However, I never found it. Bah! Dog chasing his tail has more luck than I. I have searched far and wide, but found no clues. Some say it lies in the hands of a pirate. Some say wealthy merchants are seeking it. I hear so many stories. It is me who should ask you about what about the sword. I shall abandon. Who the fuck joined in? Hey. It's Basil. All right. Time to end the stream. Fuck you. I'm just kidding. What's up, Basil? How you doing, man? Yeah, not much. Yeah, happy to have you here, man. Everything going good on your end? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, man. I fucking throat hurts to say fucking playing this game. Because there's just so many different characters and I'm just like doing different voices for each of them. 
in Mitsurugi, yeah. I know he has like a deep voice, so it's like, ah, oh, shit. Hmm. I shall abandon my search and consider my journey valuable training. Many strong warriors exist throughout the world. If I had stayed in Japan, I would have never known this. But I don't know if the ships have been sailing from Yangguang. The old man says something peculiar is going on over there, but he's not especially trustworthy, so why do you wish to head there? I told him the commotion in Yangguang was probably caused by an appearance of an astral fissure, and that I sought the power of the fissures. Estul fishies? Never heard of them. Still, the direction we head isn't the same. So I shall join you. You have nothing to fear with me there. Michirugi gave a hearty laugh. The road ahead was long. And we were going to have to camp on the way. His company was welcome. He's a good guy. Oh, chapter three now. Sorry, I got people in the background trying to talk to me. Ah, oh, beat him up. Yeah. Hey, hey, wake up! You were screaming in your sleep. It was noisy, so I kicked you until you woke up. Everything okay? I explained to him that I, that if I didn't absorb power from the actual fissures, I would die. Hmm. Honestly, your whole tale is hard to swallow, but I can tell you something's got you jumpy at least. Very well. Tomorrow we'll ha hasten our pace. It had been longer than I realized that since that I had last absorbed the power of a natural fissure. I need to get to one quickly. With a growing sense of urgency, I continued my journey. Oh, oh my god, stop with the feckin' stories. Yep. We stopped off the village along the way, hoping to find some information on Yang Guang and uh, gather supplies. Welcome, welcome! You do not look well at all, Sally. Eat heartily. Get some fire in your belly. Who knows what awaits us on the road ahead? A true warrior must be fully prepared to fight ahead at all times. <coughs> so in other words, I won't complain if you want if you want to order a feast. We intend to go to Yang Guang, but we heard some things are rough there. Do you know anything? At the mention of Yang Guang, the shopkeeper's smile slipped. I heard that things there are quite bad. A number of people were attacked and we and when they caught the culprit, it turned out to be one of the townspeople who had gone mad. Soon, more and more people began acting strangely. The killings resumed and the bodies began to pile up. That was when the panic started. You wouldn't think it now, but it used to be one of the most proper uh, towns in the area. Some of its residents have even fled there for, uh, to our tiny hamlet. It was worse than I expected. Was the astral fissure responsible? My fear for her and Seah safely grew steadily stronger. I tried to reassure myself that he was capable of looking after himself. Here the area around Yang Guang is teeming with mad townsfolk who's, who butcher anyone they can find. I'd say this is for I say this for your own safety. Turn back. Your concern is, is appreciated, but my friend here has no intention of turning tail. Isn't that right? I nodded in to the grinning Mitsurugi, but unease swelled in my stomach. The sharp pains in my head showed no sign of letting up either. She has come just as I expected. <laughs> because of the astral fissure, I assume, how shall we respond? It's just too soon to, to ask. To stay your hand. She may be Aswell's creature, or so you say. Uh, and you say we should merely stand by? You disapprove of my decision? Tracking Aswell is our priority. Besides, she seems to be headed to Yang Guang. We can assess the threat there. Understood. Very well. Ah! Story! Are you okay? You look terrible. Well, Yang Guang isn't much further. We can rest when we get there. Mm -hmm. What's that? Help! The man was running towards us from the direction of the town. He seemed to be terrified. He's gonna kill me! Help! I don't want to die! 
A dark figure appeared behind the man, moving with perpetual speed. In the blink of an eye, the figure mercilessly struck down the defenseless man. Ah! Then, the dark figure noticed us. Waves of fury and bloodlust sent a sickening chill down my spine. Without hesitation, I readied my weapon. Oh, it's Heron! And that's when I realized it was Heron. Something was very wrong. His eyes glowed like embers, and his face was twisted into a menacing snarl. Blood covered his tattered clothes, barely concealing bulging muscles, which looked more like of those of a monster than a well-trained fighter. There was no trace of Haran's calm demeanor and, rage and ready smile, but it was, without a doubt, him. Are you? His voice with a bestial growl. A mad grin broke across the face, his face as he licked the blood from his weapon. He stared at me for a long moment, then turned and ran toward Yang Guang. <clears throat> so that's one of these mad townsfolks, huh? This is... The man Heron murdered lay still before me. I couldn't believe what I'd just seen. What's wrong? Still in shock, I explained everything to Mitsurugi. I see. As a friend, you wish to help him, right? That may not be possible. I have fought many a warrior in my time, so I can tell he gloried in that kill. If he's that far gone, I doubt he'll be able to reason with him. He might be beyond our help. What happened to Haran? I thought back to Zasalona had told me. Many Malfessas lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Astral Fizzers extrude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone weak who dares approach it, or turn them into Malfessas. It was likely that Heron had been transformed into a Malfessor by the Astral Fissure in Yang Guang. While I stood there lost in thought, a young man appeared and approached us. Excuse me, do you know my brother by chance? He must have been talking about Her uh, Heron. Looking closer, I saw that the young man had a look of a martial artist to him. My name is Hao Yu, and that murderer, Heron, he is my brother. Hmm? Haru net left next to the corpse, corpse of the man from town. He's become something terrible. After a silent prayer, how you, how you uh, slowly stood up. Yang Guang was fraught with danger. Come with me. I tried, but I could not stop Haran. So I have a favor to ask of you. Judging by his stride, how you was injured. Nevertheless, he appeared filled with determination. Please forgive me for interrupting your journey. I asked him what happened to Heron. After my brother returned from his journey, he... How can I explain it? It all began when he volunteered to inspect the unusual rift that had appeared. Apparently he seen something similar in his travels. That was where everything started to go wrong. With each passing day, my brother began acting stranger and stranger. He started to speak crudely and grew needlessly violent. Then one day he just left. We trained together all the time, but I was too scared to do anything at first. After that, well, he saw it for himself. He became a monster. Soon, many other became like Horan, Heron. And he began slaughtering each other. And they began slaughtering each other. However, none could match my brother's martial prowess. I never thought I'd see his training used for such evil. For a short while, they all fell silent. Then Haru looked at me. His eyes filled with determination. What is this, a fucking Undertale game? I practically worshipped my brother. He was always so noble, kind, and strong. We would help anybody who needed it without hesitation. That's why I wish to stop him now. I beg you, kill him. Please end his suffering. How use injury is no doubt affecting his ability to fight, but his will remains strong. Can he be saved? I searched hard for another way, but it, be it through medicine, magic, anything, but every road led to failure and nothing I could do helped. None of Yang Guang had suffered the same fate as my brother could be brought back either. Hagi's expression was filled with pain, but his grim acceptance of the situation only served to emphasize the strength of his resolve. There may still be a way. In Ling Sheng Su, where my brother and I studied, people spoke of a legendary old man who knew how to resist this evil. But the stories about him were always vague, and besides, it would take many a day simply to reach the temple. 
Ask if he is sure he wants me to kill Heron. No, this is easy for me. However, if nothing is done. Yang Guang will be a ghost town. Our brother's sins are already too many. If he were in my position, he'd do the same thing. How use vo how how use voice trembled slightly when he spoke. Thank you again for agreeing to help. It must be fate for an acquaintance of my brother to show up during these dark times. For I so young, it seemed filled with exceptional resolve. I knew that I too would have to prepare myself for what lay ahead. Oh, gotta be a parent. And I had to decide what to do. You have reduced health, and your opponent has increased health. Defeat them. How you led us to the forest where he said he would find Haran. Here, this is where my brother and I used to train. The forest was eerily quiet. However, I could feel unfriendly eyes following our every move. You came. Heron stepped out from the shadows. Draw your weapon. I thirst for blood. Heron breathed erratically like a possessed beast and his eyes were filled with an insatiable bloodlust. He was ready to attack her at any moment. Heron, please. Stop all this already, please. How you? Give it up. You can't stop me. I was both shocked to see, shocked and sad to see what Heron had become. I asked him how a warrior like him could lose control like this and he froze. I may have looked like a decent human being, but I always knew that was not so. A dark shadow dwelled in my heart. I wanted to become like this to grant the sight of blood and know the ecstasy of tearing into flesh. <coughs> These were the ravings of a madman. I trained my body and mind to keep the darkness within from escaping. But the stronger I became, the stronger the conflict within me grew. Why did I seek strength? Why? Why? I knew why. Haran. Haran really his weapon and let a terrifying howl. Do you think yourself a true warrior? Then prove it! Show me the darkness that lurks inside you! <coughs> oh god, it hurts. But this is fun. Sorry, I've been so quiet, I didn't want to interrupt. Oh no, I, I totally believe it. Like, you're totally valid and all that, dude. Yeah. So apparently, uh, Pokemon's already started celebrating their 25th anniversary. Fuck, I'm just as old as Pokemon. Yeah. Cause I'm 25. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, so what's going on for the 25th anniversary? Uh, right now they just posted a video of, um, like, memories. Mmm. And it's like a Goldberg machine. Oh, uh, different. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Yep. Yeah, like some other people have been saying, it's um, not until next month is their anniversary. Ah, so I guess they're just preparing for the actual thing. Yep. My chickens are horny today. What the fuck, Warren? <laughs> what? Okay. Cause he has, he has a chicken coop. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Haran lay on the floor, uh, defeated. Go ahead. I was like, what kind of saying is that? My chickens are horny today. <laughs> so is my, my, my cock's horny? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotta choke the chicken. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna tell, tell, tell it to him right now. Hiram lay on the floor, defeated. My head throbbed and the world spun. I wasn't sure if it was because of the adrenaline or the influence of the astral chaos. I had to decide what to do about Heron. Show mercy. Ugh. With a sharp rap to the head, I knocked Heron out. Heron! Despite everything, I couldn't bring myself to kill Sally. As long as there was hope, I had to try to save him. Carrying the unconscious Heron had made our way to Heyu's retreat. <clears throat> your soul surges in your body. <laughs> My brother and I are just mixing and matching right now. We've seen a lot of chicken sex. Oh god. A deal. Yeah, you know the people that take care of chickens, right? Uh, cock handlers? <laughs> I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, yeah, chicken tenders. Hey, oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Are you being legit or was that an actual fucking pun? <laughs> That's a pun. Okay, because, like, honestly, if it wasn't, I believe it. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. That is, like, real legit. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Meanwhile, I finally got, like, some uh, envelopes for postcards. And I'm gonna go ahead and mail them out as soon as I get my custom uh, wax seal stamp. Because I told you I'm playing D and D soon, right? Yes. Yeah. Have. Like I'm gonna be doing uh, Curse of Strahd, but I'm gonna be the DM, the dungeon master for this one. Ah. And since I bought the Curse of Strahd uh, box, it came with postcards that I can actually send to the players. Ah, nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm probably not gonna write on these. I'm gonna write on the actual uh, thing. Maybe I'll add a little note to it. And then mail it off after I get my wax seal and stamp it onto the thing to seal it. And then mail it off. Nice. And apparently it says it's being shipped or it's in pre-transit right now. So I'm excited. Ah. The road to Ling Sing Su is long. We should prepare well. This fool could go wild again at any moment. Maybe we should tie him up. Hey, you helped me prepare the journey ahead. Even Mitsurugi did his part. I left the retreat to find horses. My head thrown in pain. I thought about Yang Guang heading to Ling Sheng Su meant giving up on the actual fissure. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. What do you intend to do with the outsider? The man dressed in black was standing within striking distance. I hadn't even noticed him when I approached. That is not for you to know. Let us make a deal. I have medicine that will temporarily suppress the evil gnawing at the heart of the outsider. It is yours to agree to meet me at a place of my choosing after you finish your task. What happens if I decline? You cannot expect an easy journey when accompanied by one who lacks all reason. In the end, the outsider will either kill you or you will kill him. If the medicine work, it would make the journey far easier. After some thought, I agreed to the deal. When you have done what you must do, head west of Coriana, Coronia, you will find a ruined castle. Will you seek lies there? Oh, and come alone. Do you not understand that you are but one of the many who seek it? Make haste. With those final words, the man simply vanished. You can now employ the service of Yang Guang's recruitment agency. There will be a wider selection of mercenaries you can hire for gold. If you're under a difficult mission, consider employing the services of a mercenary. Oh. 
Mercenaries are NPCs that can help you on missions. A contractor mercenary will fight in the place of a player for one mission. Contracting a a mercenary before starting a mission. Uh, press start. Okay, cool. We'll fight your opponent before you, and if they win, you beat the mission. If they lose, you have to fight as normal. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty fucking cool. Okay, so I can actually like, buy shit now. Ah, nice. Uh, get the Dream Blade. And I guess I'll get the Wild Hunt Sword and Moon Blade. When you take the moon, you take the sun. Aeneas? Oh, I have an Aeneas level 10, so I can do that too then. Aeneas almost sounds like uh, something else, but. Hit! <laughs> like almost like any ass. You, you just want some ass. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Back in Yangguang, it seemed as though life was beginning to return to normal. The people were finally starting to recover from the tragedy. I haven't done the tragedy yet. Who are you? Huh? What are you doing? I heard voices coming from an alleyway up. It sounded like trouble. A man dressed like a merchant came running out moments later. His slight form and hesitant gait made it clear that he was not the source of any violence. Oh, thank God, as a warrior. Please save me. No. The merchant moved to cow moved to cower behind me and was masked man pushed up out of the alley. I found a weapon pointed at me. Hand him over. You'll regret it. I'm regretting it. I should be ending the stream pretty soon. It said only vertical attacks were effective, so. Perfect. It said vertical attack, so I'm just abusing the vertical attack. The man introduced himself as Zihan and led me to a tea house by the waterway. My family's business is contacting mercenaries with clients. We also help find people, bodyguards, and the like. To cut your chase, they're not exactly legitimate, so we operate a front to keep more of our lucrative business out of sight. And just so you know, we're called the Five Rings. We run this city, or at least we used to. Zeon signed and sipped at his tea. In, an our, in our line of work, violence is only natural, right? Well, our syndicate is accustomed to dealing with it, and pretty good at dishing it out too, but recently my father, Kong Wong, uh, disappeared. Kong Wong, a uh, name I'm familiar with. As you can probably guess by looking at me, I'm not one of the for fire, but I don't uh, command the respect that my father did. Since he went missing, my men have been deserving the droves. It's not like Zihun, uh, Zihun uh, would never stop complaining, so I ended up by asking about the masked man. Oh, he's one of the stupid tigers. That's Lin Pei's uh, gang. They run a town a few days' journey from here, and they have a real grudge against my father. They'll take the chance they can get to cause trouble. I know they've got a, they still got plenty of tricks in store for us, but I'm glad you were here to foil them today. Thanks again. Zihan smiled at me. He certainly didn't act like the heir, like the heir of a powerful crime family. I wouldn't help but feel worried for him. I found a connection between us, at least because of Kong Wong, and 
decided to check up on him again if the opportunity presented itself. Preparations complete. All that was left to do was to part. Haran was silent. The medicine had put him into some sort of deep, deep slumber. Exactly. Did how you tell you the news? According to Bitsurugi, the chaos in Yang Guang had abated. I'll be seeing in Yang Guang. A ship could leave to Japan eventually. It seemed that there that this was where Mitsurugi and I would part ways. I want to go with you, but with this entry, please help my brother. Here you saw this often we, as we left of our Ling Sing Shu. So long, Sally, until we meet again. Safe journey and take care. Hey, stop there! You came from Yang Guang, right? Everyone living in Yang Guang must submit to a thorough investigation. What's that you have there? Show me at once. Before I had a chance to protest, the soldier uh, ripped open the cloth, revealing Harren. What the? Master Harren? What did you do to him? You'll pay for this. Seize him! You mean seize her. Well, let me fucking explain my shit itself before I have to fight. This motherfucker is evil. So now you're just beating up a random guard? I mean, he attacked first. Yeah. And this is all self defense at this point. Yeah. It's just kind of weird to see like a, you know, in a fighting game, it's just a regular guard. Yeah, I mean, uh, Soul Calibur 2 had like a bunch of NPCs like this. Yeah, true. But they actually like upped it up with them, like giving them, giving them more personality rather than being like a reskin of like the same uh, character. Yeah. Damn you, you're too strong. In an attempt to calm the soldier, I told him I was a friend of Hauyu's. I explained that what happened to Haran and what I was hoping to do. So he's not dead? It's all so hard to believe, but you're right, he has a pulse. Master Haran taught me the martial arts. He used a friend too. The soldier we went. Uh, the soldier went quiet for a while, then nodded silently as he put away his sword. Okay, I believe you. you can go. Master Heron's fate is in your hands. According to the hate, to the, according to hate you. Ling Sing Shun was nearby. However, neither it nor any monks were to be seen. Without warning, the pain grew in my head, all grew almost unbearable. Uh, <clears throat> are you okay? It was an old white haired man. You're just not good. Stay still. Om Vajrayusava. Is I feel a little better. How the old man was able to use my pain, I don't know, but I thanked him profusely. On second class, this was no ordinary old man. He had piercing blue eyes and a period in peak physical condition. From his bearing, he was a powerful warrior. I recalled what Heiyu had said about a legendary martial arts master who had taught that Ling Seng Su. Apparently, the master only left his meditations to pass on his knowledge. The man sitting before me fit Heiyu's uh, description. He had to be the one I sought. Hastily, I told him everything what Heiyu had told me about how Haron, Haron 
had become offensive and about the medicine I received from the man in black. I see. As he listened to my story, his expression grew serious. Follow me. The man led me to a beautiful temple deep in the mountains, surrounded by clear, bubbling streams. Not a person was in sight. We entered a comfortable, if sparse, sparse stone room, and the man took his ease. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? It appears to be an ancient medicine from Western Europe. It could only have been made with knowledge long thought lost. Luckily, only those who have inherited long history and great purpose still possess the skill and knowledge to craft it. It appears that the evil has not consumed him completely yet. I may be able to help you restore him. However, it is he who must cast off the darkness that has afflicted him. Only if his heart is strong enough, he can be saved. You are special. A great power sleeps within you. You have been swept up in a grand destiny, and where it will take you is uncertain. There is a young man here who has a similar fate. I would like you to spar with him. Confused though I was, I saw no re reason to refuse his request. He had agreed to help save Harren, so I hastily accepted. Gaelic! Your next opponent awaits. Who's this? Fight! and perhaps the answer will become clear. As you wish, Master. Oh, fuck it. Killick was fun in Soul Calibur too. Polearm guy. Staff guy. Come on. Oh, I won! Yay! Ha! I think I fell! Ah, oh, my my tizzies. Man, I ringed him out like three times. Holy shit. Oh. Like, straight up. I never once to feed him, like, down to like, drain his health. It's just all fucking, uh. It's just all straight up ring outs. Well, depending on the fight, that's normally a good strategy to do. I know, but it's like, fuck. <laughs> So, did you learn something? Yes, I saw equilibrium, barely maintained between myself and darkness. I see, the time has almost come. Master? Do not concern yourself. Well, I'm with you. You have yet to finish your daily training. Yes, Master! Killek bowed and left. The sun had set, but it appeared that he still had training to do. Your soul surges in your body.
Returning to the temple, I asked the old man if I uh, had been of help. When the time comes, it will all be clear. Heron showed us no sign of waking. I had no choice but to leave him with the old man, though I wasn't sure if he could help. He seems to have been a devoted martial artist. His body is strong, so I expect he will wake up in great time. I remember what Heron said. Yeah, he trained in order to gain, to gain control of himself. Those faced with evil must face themselves. Heron knew he had darkness in his heart. Could he live with his sins? The only one with that answer was Heron. It would no doubt be a difficult question to face. You too will have to answer sooner or later. Startled, I looked at the old man. He stared at me intensely, his eyes filled with wisdom and sadness. It was as though there was nothing he didn't know. Before I knew it, I was telling him about everything that had happened to me. He listened calmly and patiently. I see. So you are another who wishes to seize their own destiny. My head began to throb, reminding me I needed to find an actual fissure. I explained that I had to go to Korena and thank the old man for his help with Harren. He nodded. Hmm. Keelik approached me as I was preparing to leave. Hello, Sally Foxheart. Master told me to help you prepare for the church's mountains ro roads ahead. We didn't know each other for long, but I felt a connection to Keelik. I have a feeling our paths will cross again. When we do, I hope we can have a rematch. Keelik saw me off, and I began my journey to Quirena. Hey, Jane, how you doing? I'm enjoying the game so far. My throat fucking hurts. Constantly reading. Oh, so June 23rd is Sonic's birthday. Yeah. He'll be 30. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Uh... No, I'll hug, so I want to give you a hug too, Jane. On the way to, to Korania, I came across a wagon packed full of weapons. Luck, likely an arms merchant, I mused over where the cart was headed when suddenly the cart shuddered to a stop. The cart shook as a huge man stepped down. He was as big as a boulder. You, you hold strong weapon. I am Ruslan. Strong weapon is for strong person only. You look weak. Boss should have weapon. Ruslan came at me, swinging his giant axe. It was clear that there was no reasoning with him, so I hurriedly drew my weapon. It's, this is a very fun game, Jim. I'm really liking it a lot. Oh, I'm still alive! Up oh, now I'm dead. Oh no, she knocked off my tits! I'm glad you hear that. Kiss doesn't get a big, nice big glass of milk. What kind of milk, Jane? It's man milk. Heh, <laughs> fanboy milk. Like, fuck yeah! <laughs> Fun, 
<laughs> Just a smiley face. <laughs> The fight ended with Ruslan's gigantic body struck, uh, struck the cart, causing an avalanche of weapons to fall on top of him and pin him to the ground. Mm, do not move! Some of the weapons looked like they would come in handy on my journey. Nope, I'm too much a good noodle. You are strong, but boss is stronger. Strength's all that matters. Who cares what weak little you want? You keep weapon for now. I know your smell. Next time, I take weapon. No. That scared the shit out of me. Thank you for the 300 biddies, Jane. Woo! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, where the fuck is Majima? <laughs> Thank you so much. Quarania was near. I would likely arrive before sundown. Two people appear swimming out of thin air. They're dressed in all black like the man in Yang Guang. Hey there! Easy now, we have a message for you. Sir Gro is waiting for you in Quarania. Gro? Was that the man in black's name? Hmm. Dion, I am still not sure it is wise to trust her. Fret not, Natalie. Remember what? Remember that Aswell is no doubt nearby, which means we are needed back at base. Exactly, it would be difficult for us to assist Sir Gro in this. The best thing we can do right now is stand aside. Hmm. You there? Head to the astral fissure. Our message is delivered, so we take our leave to you. With that, they both simply vanished. Something had, was happening, that was for sure, and it sounded like time was up the essence. Thinking back, the astral fissure of Yang Guang had disappeared quite suddenly. The astral fissure floated in the air above the weathered ruin. It cast an ominous light, distorted ever so slightly by the scorching heat of the desert. As I thrust both of my arms into the astral fissure, a stream of power surged through me. Well, now this is a sight of to behold. <gasps> the black, uh, the man in black, Grow, appeared seemingly out of nowhere. Answer me, why do you seek the power of the astral fissure? Tell him the reason. I could you describe what had happened to me and told him that if I would die without the power of the astral fissures. Much of your story rings false, but some of what you does say match our information. I shall give you the benefit of the doubt. Next time I meet, I will have answers from you, but I will not have pressing matters to attend to for now. As well, as well, he will no doubt appear soon. If what you say is true, he is your enemy too. Grow fell silent. Who is this Aswell? The qualifiers had mentioned the name too. I had waited for Grow, a feeling of unused gripping at my chest. Blessed be! The astral fissures actually disappeared. Aswell! Hi, is it my darling Grow? How on earth have you been? I came to retrieve the spirit sword fragment from your filthy hands and make you pay for your crimes with your life. I'd expect nothing less from the Avaz organization's town dog, so it's mindless loyalty. You simply wouldn't be without it, hmm? Oh, have you been making friends grow? I thought my memory was second to none, but I failed to recall seeing this character while I was still with the organization. <laughs> well, call me befuddled. You're an odd one, aren't you? Why on earth would you be here if you aren't with the organization? No, no, don't tell me. Let me guess for myself. Yes, I see. 
In the blink of an eye, his expression and manner went from mocking Arsenius to contemplative. Con contemplative. His tone sharp and serious. You must be the one who took care of the astral fissure that was here, correct? Ha 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 ha! Oh, happy days to think I meet someone like you, and I got to see my little grow too. Wonderbar. Well, hello there. You were involved in everything that happened in India, correct? Fascinating. You extrude the same aura as an astral fissure. Oh, I see. How an intriguing. How intriguing. Such an interesting specimen. It's clear why my darling Grow here would be smitten with you. Well, it appears the stage is set for you and I to put the wondrous performance. Ah, fight over astrophysics. Such a dramatic setting. I can barely contain my excitement. I simply cannot wait to meet you again. I do. You will not escape. Grow moved to pursue, pursue as well, but the strange man's minions stood in his path. This is just a little get from me to you, my darling Grow. Does it just bring back memories of your little friend Curtis? You bastard! These inconsequential creatures are merely failed experiments, but they pose quite the threat in a group, don't they? Oh, how scary. But please save your glares for someone who cares. You think I know me? You think I feel no pain? I feel for them. I do. But they were a necessary step on the path of humanity's salvation. Ah, such tragedy. I can hardly bear it. Anyhow, while I do enjoy our conversations, every moment I must endure these wretched company pains me to no end. On Aswell's command, the Malfested soldiers attack. <clears throat> da 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 ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna die. Holy fucking shit. I should be ending the stream pretty pretty soon. Oh god! Like, this is scary hard. Especially since I'm not used to, uh, Geralt's weapon. I got like a few drawings I still need to do. Soul surges in your body. Hey man, I'm still on chapter two. But I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Okay, yeah, so it, it does auto-save. Alright, so I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me on this stream. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic time. We'll continue playing more Soul Calibur 6 on uh, Friday, hopefully, if things go well. Actually, no, I don't think I'll be able to stream on Friday. Because a friend of mine is actually coming to town tomorrow, and we plan on hanging out. But uh, if, I don't, if we don't hang out on Friday, then I will stream. But if I don't, so just keep in mind, I'll try to do a longer stream on either Monday or Wednesday next week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. Jane, thank you so much for the for the uh, 300 biddies. 
Make sure you do appreciate that, Basil. Thank you so much for joining in. Stay awesome. Yep. So, I wonder if we can actually raid someone. No, because everyone is too damn cool for me. So, we'll see you guys later. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.